So this is a video on unboxing and uh, evaluating of the uh, Dustin Ultra, the Bob Sweep Dustin Ultra. And I want to warn you, it's a long video, so if you want to skip around, please do. Um, I tried to show you as much as I could with it. I know it's long, but it kind of took uh, being long to show certain things uh, that the VAC was doing while it was running. And uh, be sure to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. And let's get on with the unboxing. Today's uh, uh, video is going to be unboxing a Bob Sweep uh, Dustin Ultra. And about a week and a half ago, my wise back uh, decided to die. And it was the third one that I've had from Wise. Um, all three of them have exactly the same error, a LiDAR error, which is the device that maps out the room. And without that working, the, the back doesn't work very good. So every day I get this email from Best Buy that, you know, the Best Buy deals of the day. And about a week and a half ago, there was one that was offering the Bob Sweep Pet Hair Slam Vac. Uh, it had a great price of $239. I think it normally say, said it was like $699. And it did have LiDAR uh, because I had bought a Bob Sweep 4 and I didn't like it. It didn't have LiDAR and it just kind of cruised all over my, uh, uh, my living room and <laughs> dining room and you know down here on the first floor. And I didn't it didn't make any sense to me what it was doing, and I really didn't have much faith that it was going to actually clean uh, the, the, my, my floors and sweep them. So anyway, um, after I place my order for the Pet Hair Slam, uh, I get an email from Bob Sweep, and they were looking for people to try their new uh, vac, which is called Dustin. It's a self-emptying vac. Uh, and it had a retail price of $1,099. So, geez, I didn't see any sense in not trying it. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox it and set it up and we will get it ready to start working and we'll test it out and see if we like it or not. Now this is the box it came in and apparently because it's Bob Sweep's new uh, product, uh, they sent me a nice little card that had my name on it and it says that my Bob Sweep was 6.3 pounds and 3 inches high, and I guess his birth date is 7-21-2023. So, let's open the box and see what we got. Hey, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos. So let's open up Dustin and see what we got in the box. So here's Dustin. And Dustin says his features are high resolution LiDAR mapping, quantum slam navigation, whatever the heck that is, room to room cleaning, full command app, turbo lift suction, maximum privacy, and wet or dry mopping. So in the box we're supposed to get Dustin, charging itself, cleaning, emptying station, cleaning tool, mopping attachments, mopping cloths, two, side brushes, two, a filter, a dust bag, an owner's manual, a quick start guide, and a warranty card. And Dustin comes to me in navy, or I guess the color they call it is night. So, all right. And here is Dustin's owner manual. And here's a plate, which I'm not sure what that's for yet. At least I think it's a plate. It's got a couple little knobs here. Take this foam off. Here is the actual vac itself. Looks pretty much like most of the vacs that I've used. These are little shipping tabs here that usually protect the bumper from moving during shipping, which we'll remove. I don't know if there's any other ones that we got to take off, but we'll find out. So let's put Dustin right there. This is a cleaning brush with a little cutter on it like you open up envelopes with that usually gets hair and stuff off of the, off of the brush itself. Uh, looks like this is the wet pad for Dustin and appears to be two of these pads here. Two 
two of these sweeping brushes. I'm sure get connected to them underneath. The filter, which is a pretty small filter, usually the ones that I have on my other backs are probably about this much bigger. They're probably twice the size. Another protective shipping board. And this, oh, this bag is not a toy, so I guess I can't play with that, but there is something inside of it. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, okay. I'm guessing this is kind of the bag that will go into the self-cleaning vac part because it looks like it would fit inside of a vacuum cleaner, and I know this is not going to fit in that, so um, I guess probably I'll have to order more of those if, if I have to. Looks like probably the last part here is the self-cleaning station. Which again, this bag is not a toy. I'm surprised it doesn't have California regulations on it that I'm going to get cancer from touching it. But anyway, so this is probably the self emptying part of the vacuum cleaner with this power cord here. And it's Nicely folded up inside here, which has come out from shipping or something. I don't know. And I'm guessing that this thing is going to sit on that plate that I've got over on the side. Let's see if there's anything else. And I do not see anything else. So that's what's in the box. Now let's work on getting it running. I do have to say this is pretty good shipping and packing. I don't see anything bad on it, um, which is good uh, coming from China and that. But uh, it's a pretty nice box. We're going to hold on to it because if I don't like it, Bob Sweep said I can send Dustin back. So we'll hold on to our box and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I think we're getting ready to get Dustin going here. So let's go over Dustin a little bit here. Now, I did not find a quick start uh, manual, um, so they lied on the box. But anyway, doesn't matter. Um, Bob, Bob here has got sensors in front, sensors underneath, sensors to the side, pretty much like your standard uh, robot vacuum cleaner that you have. Um, I did notice something. Bob's got a little protective piece of plastic around the front of him here, which we'll take off. And Bob's got a, a switch here, or the switches that are on Bob. Um, we've got a, there's a Wi-Fi button, there's a charge button, there's a go button, and then there's some other, um, indicators up above here and they look like they say there's a go, a solid shine, it's cleaning, it's blinking, it's paused, uh, the charge light, if it's rapidly blinking, it's a low battery, uh, if it's blinking, uh, if it's blinking, it's trying to find the station, um, if it's slow blinking, it's charging, and if it's solid, then it's fully charged. Um, there is a sound mute button, <clears throat> The middle one, or not a button, it's a, it, I'm sorry, it's, it's really a uh, little, little, you know, icon display there. Um, there's a Wi-Fi one, and when it's solid, it's connecting, connected to the Wi-Fi, and if it's blinking, it's searching. And then there's a trouble indicator, uh, I guess if Bob's got problems walking around, which I guess I probably shouldn't call him Bob, I should call him Dustin. So I'm trying to remember that. So anyway, it looks like Dustin's got all its little bells and whistles that, that are pretty much uh, about it. Um, the uh, charging and self-emptying uh, station, um, it, this large piece here, it says is the charging bed, and the station itself 
fits on the charging bed through these little holes here, just like that. So this will sit on the carpet, and this is where it will eventually find home, come back, and uh, to charge itself. Um, that's pretty much it about for that. Um, oh, there is a filter already in here, which is good. I uh, didn't know that, so that means that I've got one extra vacuum cleaner bag. Um, so I'll bag that up to make sure it doesn't get all dirty. Um, but that's already in here. And doesn't look like there's too much there. Looks like this thing just kind of slides out. There's a cardboard-like piece that's on this, and it slides right into a slot into the vacuum cleaner. Very easy to change. Um, looks like there's really a lot of no, no muss, no fuss um, with the whole thing. So um, looks very good and compact. Uh, it's not very large. And I set it on its charging bed here, and Dustin will find it uh, when it's done sweeping. So that's the charging station and the other part. All right, the next part of Dustin is his uh, the dust bin and the mop attachment. Um, one thing that I didn't know was, okay, so on this one, because it's a self-vacuuming, I really didn't think it would have a, uh, uh, a dust bin, um, but apparently it does. And if you push on this little button right here, push it down, it will open up. And by opening this up, uh, this is the dustbin assembly. Um, the filter is right here. And to remove the filter, we it looks like you open it from the front. Yep, you lift it up here. There's, some, there's a piece of tape here with some crazy Chinese writing or something on it. I don't know what it says. <laughs> I wonder if I should get it translated and see what somebody wrote me a note here. <laughs> Um, and this was the piece of tape that I found, and I used the uh, Google Lens program to do a translation, and when I translate over this, uh, it comes up to and saying, for testing, for support. So I thought that was kind of cool. Anyway, that's what that uh, well, lettering means uh, on that piece of tape that was on that filter inside the uh, dustbin. Anyway... Um there is an extra, this is where the filter goes, small filter. Um, and then this is also the part that attaches the mop part of it. Um, and it goes on the bottom down here. It just gets attached to the base like that. And then this thing slides back in and this little green thing right here, uh, this thing, this is where you fill it with the cleaner. Uh, that you're going to use for your mop uh, attachment. And then it just slips right back into Dustin here, like that, and this would be Dustin with the mop attachment on it. Now we're not going to use that right now, so we'll pull out the filter and take off the mop attachment and put the dustbin back in. So far so good. Now underneath here, um, like I say, we've got the front sensor here that bumps into things and it knows not to go any farther as soon as this gets popped into. Uh, the brush itself looks like it comes out real easy. Flip those two. This is pretty much exactly the same as any of the robot vacs if you've ever used them. There's got a square end on one, which is usually the drive shaft, and then the other one, this one just spins. So this is very simple to put in and put the cover back on it. The little brushes that brush stuff into that sweeper. There's a small square piece right here. And you just put that on, just like that. It's real simple, uh, nothing to it. And you know what, I think that, uh, I think the dust in here is all ready to go. All right, let's load the app on, uh, on my iPad here and See what we do. So we go to the App Store, do a search here, and we're going to go for Bob Sweep. Now let's do a search. Oh, I guess we had to do a search. So there's Bob Sweep right there. I'm assuming that's going to be the app we're going to use. So let's do Git. And 
it's asking to install. Let's see here. There we go. Now it looks like it's working. All right, and we're going to click on open. And it wants to know if I'd like to allow uh, some notifications. I'm going to allow notifications. And all right, now we're logging in. And BobSweep would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. So I'm going to allow it to do that. So it's telling us step one is to turn on location services and Bluetooth to ensure careful, successful pairing. And I'm going to hit continue. Um, I think that stuff's already turned on. All right, now I'm supposed to power on the bot. Um, if I haven't already done so, power on your bot. To do so, press the go button release when Dustin chimes up and the display screen lights up. All right, so here's our buttons, and this is the go button, so we're going to hit the go button, hold it on. All right, and he just chimed up, so I'm assuming he's set and ready to go. Let's just allow here, so allow Dustin to use your location. I'm going to allow him while using my app. And now we're going to choose our network password. So we're in the home position here, and we have no bot. So I'm guessing first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a model, and we're going to put in Dustin Ultra, and we're going to continue, and I'm going to name my bot. So we're going to call it the Bat Vac. And we'll call him Dustin. Okay, we're done with that. There we go, Dustin. And now Dustin looks like he's trying to connect. Wi Fi detected. Connecting. Connecting to Cloud. And he just said he had one. Connection wi successful. Wi-Fi is connected, so we're good to go there. Now, well, we got an update, and I'm going to go ahead and do the update. Update complete. All right, so we finished the update. And now we're at that version. Check out our cleaning preferences. Definitely want edge detection, low power mode. I guess we'll do that for now until we can uh, get Dustin established upstairs. So I would say we're good on those. Uh, software update, we're all right. We don't need the MAC address, and I have already connected it with uh, my Alexa. So Alexa knows that it's already there. So that's it. Uh, currently we don't have a map or anything, um, although it looks like it's kind of looked down here, but that's not any good. And I don't have a schedule, don't have any settings, no history yet, so uh, let's take it, uh, since Dustin's going to be cleaning the upstairs, we'll take Dustin upstairs and have him start to clean. Alright, Dustin's charged up to 100%, and we're going to start him cleaning so that he can start creating his first map so we're just going to take the the app here and we're going to hit that start button and he should start cleaning and we'll go kind of keep an eye on him all right Dustin has finished cleaning his first cleaning and he's returning to his base. it now he's charging now what we need to do is go look at the map 
and divide rooms or or put together rooms that are divided and also divide rooms where they weren't there's no division in the room so we'll we'll tackle that now. Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fix the map and I did want to bring up the Bob Sweep support page here. Um, unfortunately they don't have a Dustin here yet but this Bob pet hair slam is pretty much uh, the same thing so if you tap on Bob's pet hair you can see that there's different videos that they have and they do talk about uh, mapping and scheduling for both uh, iOS and Android and that's what we're going to go into now and the one video that I watched was pretty good uh, but uh, we'll go into actually doing it ourselves with our app so we're going to close that one we're going to open up Bob Sweep I have no idea why it keeps doing this. Um, it's been updated uh, and I have no idea why because every time I do update it goes out here and it just tells me to open it so I can't do anything about that and I don't know what's going on. So anyway, so we'll just open it up. And Dustin did run and he's created a map and this is the map of my upstairs and it has a lot of flaws in it in that this is one room right here this is one room right here this is a hallway up to about this point this is a closet this is our bathroom area right here and then this is the master bedroom area here so what we're going to do is we're going to start dividing and fixing this map so in order to do that we click on here and we're going to connect rooms first so let's hit connect rooms and we're going to tap on that guy and tap on that guy and then we're going to hit connect and it's going to make that room one color and then we're going to do the same for this room right here we're going to tap here and tap there and do connect and now that room's one color now I need to divide a room because it it's taken our bathroom and closet area here so we're going to tap here all right and this puts a line up here so I'm just going to take this line and move it around to where I'm going to be able to divide a room tap on the line and I'm going to do save and that's going to divide this room here there we go and again I'm just going to tap there and get my uh, line here and I'm going to move this line and create another room and do save and now we've created uh, the rooms which is good I still have to connect this part here but that's what we'll do now we'll go back and we'll now we're going to connect rooms again so we're going to connect this room and this room and hit connect and now we're going to hit this room and this room and hit connect and now my and actually we're going let's see yeah and so there there we have everything correctly done we have one two three four five six seven rooms now the next thing to do is the no-go or what they call the no sweep zones and I've got beds in this room and this room and you can kind of see where they were and it looks like Dustin actually went under that bed there but I don't want him really cleaning that so I'm going to draw no sweep zones so in order to do that I click on the draw no sweep zones and then just tap and it brings up a box for me and now I can move that box around and then make it smaller and that'll represent that one bed and I'm going to change save that and that's an area that Dustin's not going to sweep in and then we're going to do the same over here because there's a bed that's right here and we're going to change that room and we'll tap on it and save and we're going to bring another one over here into this space and hit save so there's some no sweep areas there um, Dustin seems to pick up pretty good as far as where I don't want him to sweep uh, which is is good my one of my other uh, robots 
uh, did have an issue with it. And the other thing that Dustin did well was this is a stairway right here, this area here, and he was able to sweep in that area, which was pretty good. So now I have my rooms divided. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to label some of these rooms. So I'm going to add a room label. And I'm going to tap on this run right here. And this one's going to be a bedroom. And this one is going to be a bedroom. And this one, we're going to call this one an office because that's kind of my office. This one right here is a bathroom. And this one right here is a bathroom. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I screwed that one up. That's not a bathroom. Let me take that and we're going to delete it. Yep, I want to delete it because I made the wrong choice. This is a bathroom right here. This one here is a closet. So we're going to select a closet. This one here is a bedroom. And this one right here is a hallway. So we come down here and we find a hallway. There's the hallway. And now, which I think this is kind of funny. I don't know why it puts hallway over there. It, you know, stuck it right here. And it should have, you know, kept it here. So uh, I don't know why it did that. But anyway, now it looks like we are done. And it is mapped. And I have my no sweep zones. And the next thing we're going to do is set up a schedule. All right, well, let's get out of the map. Let's go to schedule. So I'm going to create a new cleaning schedule. And this is all my rooms here. And I'm going to just test it tomorrow. So today is Tuesday, so I'm going to click on Wednesday. This is where you set your time. You tap on the time, and then you can change it to what you want to do. I'm going to start it cleaning at 9 a.m. So we're at 9 o'clock tomorrow for Wednesday, and it's asking me what rooms I want to clean, and right now I'm going to clean everywhere. All right, now it's asking me uh, how should I want Dustin to clean, and there's a turbo mode, um, and so that's for, I guess, excessive cleaning and messes in the schedule. But what I want to check is whether or not Dustin will be able to clean through the whole area, and if he runs low on battery, will he return to base and then go back out and clean? So we're going to put it on turbo. And then we're going to do next. So this is all set for Wednesday. All rooms, high turbo, save. And another schedule I'm going to do is I'm going to do Thursday. And again, I'm going to have it go at 9 o'clock. And I'm not going to do the turbo, and I'm going to tell it to clean everywhere. So we'll just take the next two days. Oops, I forgot to select the room, sorry. Um, clean everywhere. Not going to turn the turbo on, so we'll just go to next. And we'll save it. And so now on tomorrow, it's going to do turbo and see if we have enough juice to clean the whole upstairs on turbo mode. And if not Thursday morning, then we'll see if we have enough juice to just clean the whole surface up there. And that's really about it. Everything is set up uh, to go, um, and Dustin's charging right now, so we'll see how it goes, and we'll come get back with everybody on uh, tomorrow. I tried to use the schedule, and it failed uh, multiple times uh, in testing. So I called Bob Sweep Support, and they sent me out a new Dustin. So everything from here on out is with the new Dustin. Today is Wednesday and at 9 o'clock he started to work. So we'll see how much he gets cleaned up. He is on turbo mode right now. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. Looks like he had a problem negotiating the stairs. All right, so we're having troubles with the edge of the steps here. And it's the edge sensor, so it's asking me to pick it up, move it, and then hit the go button. Well, they say the play button, but there is no play button. But anyway, that's what we're going to do.
It also doesn't sound like he's in turbo mode right now. All right, looks like he's coming around to do the steps again, so we'll see what he does. Alright, so he completed the steps, but the one thing that I don't think is, I don't think he's in turbo mode anymore. Because it doesn't sound like it's sucking as hard as it was before. Alright, All right, Dustin is returning. And like I say, the turbo mode was turned off once he encountered an error. Dustin's done. Okay, what did we learn from Dustin's first run? Well, we learned that where the steps are here, he encountered an issue and went into a trouble mode, and we corrected that. However, it did turn the turbo off. So that's kind of a bummer because it didn't continue that. Um, the other thing uh, to tell you about with the map here is you can see that it's changed colors and it's a lighter color like this is a dark green here this is a light green this is a dark purple this is a light purple so you can tell where he actually vacuumed at that point so um, those are a couple of the issues uh, issues with the stairs uh, issues with uh, uh, turning off turbo mode because of an encounter um, but so far so good it looked really good as far as where he cleaned it uh, sucked all the dirt out of it, and now I'm going to put a no-step zone in this area here where the steps are, and I do have to open this one up a little bit more because he was going under the bed, and I want to keep him out from under the bed. So, so far, so good. We'll see tomorrow how he goes. All right, we're starting the next cleaning now. He's just gonna clean in normal mode, so we'll see how he does. All right, he's at the steps again. Oh, and he's failed again. So we'll move him and hit the go button. Let's see, must be done with the steps now. All right, I made adjustments <clears throat> to the no sweep zone uh, by the steps here. I'm trying to get him to as, get as close as I can to the steps so that he, the edge detectors won't go off and he'll come pretty close to just about finishing and that's it. 
little bit closer. And that's all he'll get now until the end, so we'll come back at the end and see where he actually stops. All right, this is the second pass of the stairs where he comes down just a little bit more, I'm hoping. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty close to the edge. I'm going to leave it at that. So the no-sweep zone's okay. It's just kind of too bad that the, uh, the edge protectors don't uh, work very good. One thing that's interesting about the Bob Sweep app is that you can save maps. And I ran a second one because I had to move Dustin into another room. So I created a new map. And if you remember, Dustin was over here, and now he's over here. The problem with this map, though, is it's skewed a little bit. And although I can turn it around 90 degrees, it's not perfectly square. So, and I don't have the ability to move it uh, this way. And what the result is, if I draw no sweep zones where I want to draw one underneath the bed, when I finally take this and put it in there, it's actually crooked. So I want the line to be going farther down, and it's not. So anyway, so one thing that I did find was that I can actually save these maps. So if I click on this, it'll show me the active map, and then it'll also show me a saved map this is the saved map that I saved when Dustin was down over here, which this was the very first one. And this is the one that I just did, which you can see that it is crooked. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this active map and say, yes, delete the map. And now the active map is empty, and this is the one that it ran before. Now I'm going to run Dustin one more time to see if I will get a straight map, if, my, if it will be more north, south, east, and west, rather than being askew where I can't uh, put my no-sweep zones. So that's what we're going to do now. And if we hit start, then Dustin starts spinning, and off he's going to go cleaning and making a new map. And eventually we'll start seeing, now you can see the map is just starting to develop. So as his radar, as the LIDAR radar goes out, it sees areas and it starts to build the map. So we'll do a full map and we'll see if we're perfectly at 90 degrees or are we askew uh, off. Okay, I went to check my map and I saw that I've got trouble left wheel. It says the left wheel is jammed, check for obstruction and clean the wheel. Uh, when done, press the play button. So, wondered what's jamming my wheel. Well, it looks like it got stuck on the steps again. So I've had edge sensors uh, give me an error for the steps and now I've got trouble with the left wheel. <clears throat> So I'm going to press OK, move the bot, and hit go. So I've moved, <clears throat> so I've moved the wheel, and now I've pressed go, and we'll see how he handles the steps. No, it looks like he's running away, <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. Okay, J Dustin just got finished running, and now you can see the map is perfectly straight, up and down, left and right. And if we go to the saved map, you can see this is the skewed one right here where it's slanted this way. This is the one that was in the other location, and now this is the new one. And I can now go through and combine my rooms and set up no sweep zones. So everything looks good, although the only problem that we had was that Dustin had problems with the steps, 
and he stopped uh, with a different error this time being the wheel error. So that's where we stand. Okay, now that Dustin's created the new map, I've actually gone through now and labeled everything, uh, put in those sweep zones, so this map is now saved. And Dustin's in his new location, which is right here, and he used to be over here. So now we're good to go. Next thing we're gonna do is test Dustin for uh, mopping capability. And my first floor happens to be all wood, so that's where we're going to test it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we have to clean, clear the map. So we'll click on the map button here, and this is the current map that we're using. This is, says it's the active map. And I'm going to come down here to my crooked map, and I'm going to say make active, and we'll say yes. Now we have the crooked map, which is the active map. And what I'm going to do with the active map is I'm going to come here and I'm going to delete it. And then now we have no active map. So we're going to come back and we have Dustin all set up and ready to go to clean. And you can see this is all wood floor. So we'll come back to our map and hit clean or start. And now Dustin's going to start remapping the new area. And just like in the previous ones, if we hit map, we see that he starts seeing all of the area. So we'll let Dustin continue cleaning here, and when he's done, then we'll be able to put the mopping attachment on and have him mop the downstairs. All right, Dustin has finished cleaning, and this is the map that he created. And I don't really have any no sweep zones in here, so everything was fine. Um, was a little chaotic in here. I did have in my kitchen, I put all my chairs up and in the dining, living room here, I've got my dining room table up and everything, so he had a good area to to sweep around in that, so next step is be is to put the mop attachment on. Okay, now this is a little bit crazy, but I've got Dustin here and this is the attachment here and this is the pad and it's nice and clean now so we'll have to wait and see what it looks like after it's done and it gets, just gets attached by uh, sliding the pad on over these little strips here there we go and then it's velcro there's little pieces of velcro back here so we'll lay it down like that and that's how the pad is attached. Now in order to get the pad, pad attached to the uh, base, we need to take out Dustin's uh, dust collector and to that we push down right here and then just simply pull out. And then this is the base here. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the reservoir here um, and most of it says to do with distilled water. I want to do a floor cleaner. Uh, I don't think it'll hurt. I don't know. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with it. But anyway, Dustin's mopping attachment just gets put on like this. And then we'll have to see if Dustin all of a sudden recognizes that there is a mopping attachment to it. So I'm going to fill up the register, reservoir I mean, and uh, we'll put Dustin back over by his home plate, put him in position over there by the uh, dust, uh, the vacuum system, and we'll turn him on and see what he does. So I filled up the reservoir, but before I did it, I tried. I wanted to see how much liquid it would actually hold, and it holds about 12 ounces. So right now it's full, and as you can see, there's 
water starting to come out or the <clears throat> cleaner starting to come out on the pad. So now we'll go over and put it back in Dustin and see what it, see if the program recognizes that there's a cleaning pad on it and then we'll get him start cleaning. All right, so we're ready to insert the cleaning pad in and we'll just take that and slide it in and it's in and now I know if I touch butt Dustin up to his charging station he should turn himself on. There he goes. Okay, so Dustin's turned on. Let's take a look at the program and see if there's any change in that so it knows that there's a cleaning pad on there. All right, let's open up the Bob Sweep app. And from the looks of it, I don't see anything that says that there's a mopping attachment to it right now. Um, so I'm not really sure. Maybe he doesn't really recognize that. He'll just mop and sweep at the same time. But let's uh, let's figure that out or see if we can figure that out. So we'll hit the start button. And nothing has changed on the program. And Dustin is starting to mop. And I'm sure you can see that trail there. Uh, of wetness as he goes so he's mopping and it's really hard to tell if the vacuum part is on or not um, but anyway we'll let we'll let Dustin uh, mop away here and kind of see what happens okay one thing I have noticed is that if you can see from the glare there you can see from the path that he came off of his charging station just three lines but now he's gone really solid and I know it's kind of hard to see with the and get a good reflection here there's the three lines now he's coming into play but he's more solid now so he's definitely mopping away uh, with the mopping pad so it'll be interesting to see how dirty it is and of course then it'll be bad because it'll see how dirty my house is one thing I did notice when he swept down here was he did, didn't pick up some stuff, and here's, here's an example of that too. Um, if I go get my Dyson stick back, uh, it'll pick that up. So I don't really know why he didn't pick that up. It looks very easy to pick up, but um, we'll get the stick back and see if it comes right up. All right, I got the stick back ready to go, so let's see if it'll suck this up. Yeah, I took that right away. There's another little piece right there. Oops. Right there. So, I'm not really sure why it didn't pick up some of that stuff. It should have swept it up into it, but it didn't. One thing I'm not sure of is how much, when the reservoir is going to be empty or not. I don't know if it tells me anything. But as you can see from some of the shine there, some of the streaks are not as wide as they used to be. So, I think I'm going to stop him and put some more uh, fluid in there if I can do that. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay, you can see how much area he has cleaned and he's still cleaning. And I think we're running out of fluid. So I'm not really sure how much this whole area is, um, but we're gonna go back and I'm gonna hit stop. And now let's see if we can take off his uh, dustbin and refill it. Alright, I took out his uh, dustbin and the mop bin and there still is fluid in there so I'm going to hit start and let him keep going. And I'll just have to check the tail here and see how it goes with uh, how it's cleaning itself at this point. But there still is fluid in, in the reservoir. You can see now where he's cleaning, and he's only got about three quarters of a way there. So I'm not sure what's going on with the reservoir. I think I'm going to uh, put more fluid in it. I don't know if you can tell, but the path is a little wider, although I can see spots like right there where it's wet and dry. So I'm not really sure what's going on with the map mopping part right there. 
and you can watch it dry it should be coming back in picture again alright here it comes you can see the wetness that's there but it's not it's not a real big solid line like it was at the beginning when I started doing this unfortunately I'm having a little bit of playing around with the lights here with the reflection so it's hard to tell but it's definitely not a full swath all the way across all right well I, I noticed something that uh, just happened here he's actually going over and sweeping an area that he's already done um, he had already done all of this area here he had done this area here and back down in here not in this area here so what's happening I guess when I stopped it and this is about where I stopped him then he took up right where he left off and is continuing so I'm actually not it's it's not actually gonna clean the whole house um, with the one application uh, so it is actually sweeping all over something it's already swept so I guess our experiment kind of screwed up here when I stopped him. Uh, I didn't realize that he would not continue from where he was at. Uh, that's why it's sweeping an area that it was already done in. So I guess we'll just stop him and empty the reservoir uh, and make an evaluation from that. Okay, I did stop him again and let's bring the map up and see. And yeah, you can see it's now all that one solid color. So the only way I guess to get Dustin to go back home is we do stop and then we do charge and charge should bring him back to his home base I think according to the instructions so we'll see if he starts coming back here he's under the table right now I think he's figuring out where he's going and here he comes So he did vacuum out the dustbin, so I'm going to, I guess, assume that there was stuff in the dustbin. And we're going to turn them off now and pull, off the, pull out the dustbin and uh, drain the rest of the fluid that's in the reservoir. And we'll take a look at the pad and see how dirty it is. Alright, so I turned them off and we're going to remove the dust collector. And I guess I'm fluid all over the place, so we'll go over to the sink and uh, see what he looks like. All right, let's take a look at the pad. I've got the water out of it now, and you can see the it is dirty. Um, I don't know how dirty. I'm sure my floors are probably dirtier than that. But anyway, um, it, it worked. Uh, how well it worked, I don't really know. It, it still looks like it's a little bit dirty to me. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll let the uh, dustbin here dry out a little bit and we'll wash this pad and clean it off and then we'll have a final I'll final review and say of what I thought. So that's my unboxing and evaluating video of the Bob Sweep Dustin Ultra. Now what did we learn? Well we learned that Dustin had some issues with the stairs. Uh, I got two errors when Dustin was doing the stairs. 
Uh, we had edge sensor errors, and then we had a wheel uh, error, which that was really bizarre because I've never seen a wheel error. Usually they have an error for the uh, edge sensors. Anyway, and also uh, in turbo mode, uh, it had when it had the edge sensor error, uh, when I restarted Dustin, the turbo mode did not turn back on, which was kind of bizarre. Um, and I don't know, I assume that's probably a software fix. I seem to have more issues with the iOS app than the Android app. Um, however, some of these issues went away as the app was updated. Uh, I believe the app was updated about three times while I was uh, in the process of testing this. Um, both seem to require a little time uh, after opening to get data, uh, and I'm not sure if that's from Dustin uh, before it was ready to use. Um, one time I got a localization error on the iOS app, um, and I also got a map not loaded uh, error on the iOS app, which was kind of strange. After a couple seconds, the map appeared and everything was good to go. Uh, using the Android, it told me that Dustin was offline, uh, but when I went to check, Dustin was working away. So I uh, wasn't really sure what happened with that. So there seemed to be some flaky things that happened uh, with the apps, but nothing really major. Um, I did have an issue uh, with how the map was created, um, which I don't think was really attributed to uh, either app, uh, because both apps show the same map. Um, I had one map that when it made it, instead of it being like nice north, south, east, and west, it was kind of like northeast, southeast uh, kind of deal. So, uh, or maybe northeast, southwest. But uh, anyway, uh, that made it hard to uh, put the no sweep zones in because they were a perfectly square, either rectangular box, however you did it, and you had no way of rotating the box at all. So. Um, that made it a little difficult. It really wouldn't have mattered on the skewed app that was kind of southeast to southwest or north northeast to southwest, but because uh, then I could have rotated the box, uh, the no sweep area, um, but I was unable to do that. After I ran a second uh, app, uh, I'm sorry, a second mapping, uh, it it seemed to clear that up. So um, that wasn't it. Now. The app does have the capability of creating uh, a no-sweep line, um, which if you touch, uh, convert to a line, it makes the box a line, and then you can move the line around, but that, that kind of defeats the purpose of it, because then you've got to go probably three different uh, lines if you wanted to do it. So it'd be a lot easier if they would just take the box itself when it comes up and allow you to rotate the box. Uh, that would that would definitely help the situation. Now let's talk about the mopping feature. Um, I really don't think this type of vac should be used for mopping. Uh, this is the second vac that I was have that had the uh, mopping feature, and they both seem to work about the same way. Not good and terrible, just just terrible. Um, with Dustin, I could see some streaking on the floor, and it seemed to, to not distribute the liquid evenly on the pad itself. Uh, when it first started out it seemed like the pad absorbed the water and the water moved out of the liquid that I used, the cleaning uh, fluid. Um, but then after a while it seemed like the only half of the pad had uh, uh, fluid on it. Well, and, the, and that brings us to another point. I didn't really see anywhere that the app actually knew that Dustin had a uh, a mop on it. Um, on another vac that I own, uh, when I put the mopping attachment on, it knows and it comes up and says that it has the mopping attachment on. And it also does not turn on the vacuum part of it. And I did notice that Dustin was actually vacuuming uh, as he was mopping. Uh, and then I stopped Dustin from cleaning to refill the uh, reservoir. And then what happened with that was he just started like cleaning as if it was that's where he started. Um, it it uh, it totally forgot everywhere that he had cleaned already, uh, and it just almost picked up a new spot and off it went cleaning. So there's really no way that I can see that while the cleaning is going on that you would uh, be able to refill the reservoir, which if you've got a larger area, and I think I had about uh, 900 square feet on the first floor there to do mopping, 
Um, the 12 ounces of liquid, uh, which is all the reservoir contained, uh, eventually would run out and you wouldn't have to be able to clean the whole floor. So I guess you'd have to create two different maps and create no mopping zones uh, in half the floor and then do it again for the other half. So um, I think it would be nice though if there was some way that they would be able to tell you when Dustin was mopping and when he was out of, of the reservoir, when the fluid was out, uh, that would make it a lot easier. I do hope that they have a Dustin support page. Um, I used the uh, pet hair slam instructions, um, but didn't. Uh, but it didn't cover Dustin. Um, it, it's kind of the same kind of back, but it doesn't have the self cleaning feature. Uh, so. Um, I like the videos that they had on there. I thought they were really helpful. Uh, I like watching videos much more than I like reading instructions. Um, I guess I'm a video, I'm a visual learner, so I, I like looking at something and seeing it and then I know what's going on. Um, I also like the fact that you can have up to three different maps uh, saved. Um, both of my other backs that I've had have never, I've only allowed you to have one, uh, one map. And with the Dustin, uh, with the, the capability of having three maps, you actually could vacuum your second floor, then you'd have to carry the back down, set it up on the first floor, and then just choose the map, uh, and then it would uh, clean the, sec the first floor. So that, that would work out kind of nice um, if that was uh, the case. So what's my conclusion? Um, I really like the vac. Uh, it's been working well on the second floor cleaning the carpeting. Um, I like the self-emptying feature that cleans out the dust collector in the vac. Um, my other vacs, I was a self-cleaning unit and had to empty all of the dust bins out and uh, change them. Um, the maintenance on the vac is par with other vacs that I've had. You've got to keep the uh, sensors clean uh, so that you know they work properly. Um, and the mopping feature, eh, it's just kind of so-so. Um, it's on par with the other vacs that I have, but it, I wouldn't definitely buy it. A, a RoboVac for a mopping feature. Um, I just don't think they really work that great. Uh, maybe if you ran it on the floor like five times or something, it might actually clean everything up. But uh, I just, I, I just don't think it's worth it. So I would recommend this vac, um, but I wouldn't count on it for mopping the floor. Uh, thank you, Bob Sweep, for choosing me to evaluate your vac, um, and you didn't know that I do YouTube videos, so I guess it's a win-win for both of us. Um, I was expecting to get your Pet Hair Slam one, uh, and the main reason I wanted that was because of the LiDAR feature, and I think that really works well uh, in mapping rooms. I think, as I said in another video um, on one of my other vacs, I did have an old Bob Sweep that I bought, and it just randomly ran around my house. I couldn't figure out how it was cleaning, so I, I, I actually took it back. But I hope you didn't fall asleep watching the video. Uh, I know it was long, um, but I tried to edit down as much as I could, but I wanted to show you as much as I could so you can decide if Dustin is right for you. So to be sure, uh, sure to like, uh, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.